Hello friends, Pastor Paul here. Welcome back to our Matthew uh, Bible Reading Challenge. Today is day two, and we will be reading and listening together to Matthew 2, which contains the story of the wise men, the, the visitation of the wise men, and also the story of uh, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus' flight uh, to Egypt. So we're going to listen to that together right now. men from the east came to Jerusalem. Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem. Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry. And he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, 
that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Okay, friends, there you have it, Matthew 2, which, like I said before, contains the, the visitation of the wise men and also uh, what is, is traditionally called the slaughter of the innocents, um, where Herod killed all the uh, children in, uh, in and around Bethlehem. Um, notice a couple of things about this chapter. There's, there's uh, this phrase that I told you keeps coming up in Matthew. It was... It was done so it would be fulfilled what was written by the prophets. Uh, that phrase or something like that occurs four times in this text. Uh, notice there's, the, there's a lot of dreams happening and God speaking through angels in these dreams. Uh, dreams to the wise men, dreams to Joseph. Uh, that's interesting, um, an interesting feature. Uh, also the focus on Joseph. Uh, we continue to see that. I mean, Mary, Mary is mentioned, but doesn't get a whole lot of... Uh, she doesn't speak at all. She's just mentioned. Uh, Joseph is the one doing most of the action here. Now, it's interesting that um, the Joseph, Mary, and Jesus had to flee Bethlehem and go to Egypt. And um, it's not certain how long they were in, in Egypt, but it was for a while. It wasn't like they just went and uh, hung out in Egypt for a few days. It was something on the order of six months to maybe as long as three years that they were in, um, uh, in hiding, actually, or, or at least in exile in Egypt. And that's the last thing I'd say, is it's really interesting to me that Jesus was a refugee. Jesus had to, and his family, had to flee his home country because of violence in his homeland. And in fact, he was a political refugee. And I think that's interesting that the Christ our Lord uh, was, as part of his um, biography, as part of his life, experienced what it would be, what it would have been like to have been a refugee. All right, well, that's uh, all the comments I have today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, God bless all of y'all.